you have concrete or pan tiles, they're not really going to give you much of a problem. The tiles are thick enough to discut a groove in the back of this tile, keeping it watertight. Right, you've changed your Worcester Bosch panels. Really good panel, wise choice. Now, I'm just trying to give you a little heads up before you get on the roof and actually find you scratch your head or you need to go off and get something else because we all know there's nothing worse. So, let's have a look at the slate roof really. Probably the worst one of the bunch to do. Everything else fairly straightforward. Now, if you're a plumber doing the roofing, this could be a bit of a nightmare or you may be an experienced roofer just trying to get used to the Worcester Bosch bracket, so let's go through it. The diagram in the Worcester Bosch manual. My advice is to ignore this. I don't personally think it works too well. It can be achieved, but it's not my favourite. The problem is, the guy drawing it doesn't allow for the thickness of the bracket. Here you can see how much this bracket would lift the slate off. Now that's not good for snow or pressure on the tiles, so not a good idea. That lifting action also would go right across the roof from tile to tile to tile, like a stepping action. I've actually been discarding this bracket because I'm not really happy on Worcester's design on that one. If you find an alternative bracket, but it has to take the weight, 44 kilograms, I think they are off hand each panel, so this is a strong steel bracket that suits this design a bit better. Now, the reason why I've been using this one is because I've been using this sort of design, a waterproof seal. This one's actually Genius Roof Solutions, I'd say look them up, they've got a YouTube clip, very good. Unfortunately, this waterproof seal goes straight across the hole where our runner's going to sit, hmm. so and you can't exactly drill a hole, that's not going to help the waterproof situation. As you can see, this one should fit better, and leaving that nice and clear and waterproof. Right, here's our brackets all done and ready for the panels to be dropped on. Never try and lift the panels on your own, they're too heavy and awkward. Hard to do one handed, but <coughs> these tubes just push on. It's in place, just push on the clip and snap off the green securing tag. Sorry. Drill the slate to allow the pipes to go through and tape the tubes to stop any bits going down. No weatherproof entry kit comes with it, so think ahead and you'll have to buy that. Now we're in the roof, I find the express fittings, the solar type, are a good solution for the high temperatures. Yeah. Any pipe work is going to be insulated with high temperature laggings. Another idea for Worcester, why don't they include these clips where you can simply clip onto the side of their panel and it will keep the sensor wire nice, tidy and neat. There's a few more different panels with a few more different roofs.